Greetings everyone and welcome to day two of our 2022 Time Blazer Challenge. Um, we are here until June the 23rd where we are looking to launch something for you. So this is where I need you to participate into, um, hi Ant um, Antoinette from Amsterdam, thanks for being here today. I know it, uh, what time is it over there in, in Holland? I don't even know, it's about 3.30 Eastern here. Um, so anyway, let's get started. What is the main thing that you are trying to launch? While you're typing that into the chat, what I'd really like to start out with is talking a little bit about a real seismic shift that is happening. I mentioned it and I'm going to be mentioning it, I think, all through the challenge because it is so important. We are going through a... Um, a time frame where we are finishing up a 20 year cycle, if you will, and it is called period eight. And period eight is about earth energies, but what we're gonna be talking about is preparing ourselves for this wonderful shift going into period nine, which is all about fire. And the reason why I decided to do the challenge in June is it's actually one of the most powerful months of the year. Why? Because it is full fire. When we look at a pillar, even when you look at your own astrological chart, which I hope you have, um, have downloaded at this time, and you can get that in the links below. Those are always going to be listed on the links below. But when you look at a pillar, um, you look at the year, month, day, and hour, and there's always an element on the top and an animal on the bottom. So for example, you could have been born in the year of the monkey, for example, but what type of monkey are you? Are you a fire monkey, a wood monkey, a metal monkey, a water monkey, or an earth monkey? So those, all of these subtle differentiations will start to begin to tell you how well you're going to fare in the year, if you will. Well, the same goes through every month as well. So we are currently, at the time of this recording, in the month of a fire horse, which means it is full fire. So what can you use fire for? Well, first of all, fire is the happiness element. And so we want to make sure that we have fire. If we didn't have the sun in the sky, we would not have this, this planet would not be um, habitable, right? So we do want to make sure we have fire in our chart. It is also about technology. It's about metaphysics. It is about spirituality. It is about feminine power, if you will. Um, it is also putting yourself in the spotlight, um, being visible. So it's a very good month to try to make yourself more visible to the people that you want to be seen. Um, is that in a personal realm? Is that in a professional realm? Is it, um, you know, getting to be more expressive in the things that you do? All right, so what I have for you though is an incredible tool that is going to help you get more visible. And it's called the Time Blazer. And the Time Blazer is basically a proprietary calendar that's based on your birth information to take the right action at the right time, pretty much every single time. And we also want to understand that it's not about just choosing a good day and time, it's also avoiding some of the pitfalls within each and every day, as well as it is um, advised to avoid some of the, the more challenging days that happen every single month. And so that's where we're going to um, uh, begin is talking, talking about that. But for those of you who don't know you, don't know me, excuse me, um, hello, my name is Kathleen horvath Zemanski. I'm a business feng shui master and I am also the creator of the Time Blazer. So we're, we're gonna do this challenge, but before we get into um, what we're gonna be talking about today, what I'd like to talk, tell you about is a little bit about the challenge, the contest rules, because we're also not only a challenge, I that I'm gonna have you be working on. I'm also giving away a fabulous free gift. And the, the gift itself is worth about $2,500, $2,500 US. So 
it may be worth um, showing up for this, if you will. All right, so the challenge is we are, you are going to be looking at launching your next project program or product, and you're gonna be using the Time Blazer. So you're gonna be choosing a good day and time so that you can make that happen. What you need to do is you need to sign up for the, the um, free 30-day time trial or purchase the Time Blazer software. And we're, we're just asking you to purchase the software. I'm not asking you to get into a big program. Uh, two years running, when I started um, doing this challenge, it was the, the first year of all of these lockdowns that we are being subjected to. And um, that was it. We, we started our first one, I believe, in May, and it ran into June as well. But, uh, you know, it, it, it is something that, you know, I really um, think that, you know, if I can help you out, I'm not going to try to sell you a big program. I really want you to just get in there and start using that Time Blazer and then move up to any program that you wish. OK. All right. So I want you to get one um, project um, prepared. You, this more specific you are about it, the more succinct and clear you are about that goal. Telling you, the better off your launch is going to be, right? Okay, so that, and then um, what you are, I need you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed, and then join us every day until the 23rd at 3.30 Eastern Time, okay? All right, so the contest, you will win a hot seat with me. It's a one-on-one -on -one strategy session. The winner will be announced at the end of our challenge on 623. And then we're going to meet with that person, whoever won the challenge, and that will be recorded. And then we will share that recording as well, publicly. All right, so here are the contest rules. You must have purchased or have already, you're already a Time Blazer uh, member. So if you're already a Time Blazer member, you just get a bonus session, um, just going a little bit deeper into how to use it because from last year when we had the challenge and this year, we have some new features that I'm very, very excited about to tell you. So anyway, you have to either purchase the software um, or you already have a paid subscription because, you know, we have to also, um, you know, be very true to the people who are true followers and not the looky loose. So you can get that 30 day trial, but you have to purchase it to win. All right, and then um, you need to join the challenge every day um, at 3.30 for the time that I'm on, and then put challenge accepted and your name, because you are accepting that you're going to be in here. So um, Antoinette, you may want to go ahead and put challenge accepted and your, your name in the chat, um, and anyone else who comes along um, who are even listening to the replays. We're, we're good up until the June 23rd, 2022. And then you need to subscribe. You need to hop on over to the new Time Blazer channel. Uh, hopefully Alice will go ahead and load those into the description below. So it's just an easy click away for you. We're trying to build a new channel specific to the Time Blazer because it is such an important part, we believe, of the scenario of your success. So we want you to go ahead and help us build that channel with us, okay? All right, and then you can find all of the contest details at bit.ly forward slash TB challenge 2022. Again, that will be listed below in the comments. All you have to do is click on that to get your information on that as well. Okay, now we are going to actually hop over to the Time Blazer itself. Um, what I want, here is the, um, the full um, month that we are going to be working with in June. But what I want to do is, I wanna, I wanna actually show you to start out, I wanna show you the days that we're going to be actually looking at. So we, we started yesterday, today is the official day because it's an initiate day and we're gonna get started with um, uh, working the, you know, the next, the next eight days for our, uh, our challenge here. All right, so I wanna show you the days that we have available. Now, everyone's time blazer is going to be different. I'll talk about that in just a second. But for right now, we are looking at the 15th, which is an initiate day. It's a green day. So you can see already we've got a couple of different colors going on, some icons and things like that. 
Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away some of the personalization. These icons are designated on your month view and they will be pulled over to your day view as well. But for our training or demo purposes right now, I'm going to deselect those. And how you do that is you go, if you can see my, my cursor going on the top of the gray bars just above the time blazer and it says none. Let's just take those away. All right, so they disappeared here and they disappeared there. Now the rest is hardwired into the the time blazer. So some of the personalization I can't take away, but some of it I can. So here, here is what we've got. So we've got the 15th all the way to the 23rd, but we've got some challenging days ahead that I want you to already, when you're thinking about using this time frame to avoid some of the pitfalls. So we've got when the when we take away the color and it's void of color, then that means we have a little bit of challenge with the day. So I really want you to start thinking about this is a launch calendar and it's good for many, many, many um, objectives like signing contracts and most of your business dealings can be designed through this particular software. So I really want you to think about everything you do in your business, appointments, and I'm talking important appointments. I'm not talking about, oh, I've got to do my accounting today, um, unless you've got a, a big appointment with with the, the government or your CPA or something like that, then, you know, this is more, I consider more of a mundane task, important, but it doesn't have to, you don't have to wait for a good day for that. That's an ongoing task you want to do all the time. If you're starting that for the first time, yeah, sure, use an initiate day to do that. But ongoing, you've already started that task, just keep it going. But for your launches, distraction, I don't know if I would do a launch on that day. I know I wouldn't. Um, a risk reward day, uh, if it was a green day, I might do it, but not as a, as a white day for sure. And then Sundays typically, um, and we're using the Western format of their, our first day of the week. Um, truthfully, I think Monday should be the first of our work day, but whatever, we've got it on the Western calendar format. And that is saying that, you know, most, most people do not do launches on Sundays. I realize that there are some businesses that do, but if I was going to launch on the weekend, I certainly would use the 18th over the 19th. Um, then we've got an open day seemingly good, but you know, I don't want to launch on a day that is not green. Close day, you would say, okay, why would I launch on this day? This is maybe closing your cart. Um, that could be a good day for that. Establish is typically a good day, but it's not green, so I wouldn't launch or do a, a, an extremely important um, activity on that day unless I was doing it from a perspective of, um, you know, micromanaging within the day and finding some good times within a day. And then we're going to finish up our launch. We're going to fin or finish up our challenge on the 23rd. And this is where I'm going to do the announcement. So this is the time frame we have to work with. The reason I'm telling you that, and I'm going to pop this back out into um, more of the entire view. So when you look at the time blazer, what I want you to do is I want you to start looking at the calendar at the very beginning of the month. As a matter of fact, this is about the time of the month I'm looking at next month. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of that right now. It's our challenge is over, but it's like, oh, okay. So lots of green days in July as well. So I want to make sure I capitalize on those as well. Now, this is not my time blazer. So these stars and these icons that are in there, those are going to be quite different on mine. What is going to be the same, I'm going to go back to June because we're in the month of June is we've got um, green and white days. I'm gonna talk about those a little bit more extensively another day. I'd like to go through a little bit of navigation so you can immediately, and what I would like you to do is go ahead and open up your time blazer and follow along with me. Can I get a thumbs up on that one that we're gonna follow along with me? Okay. 
Again, I'm going to um, leave off the icons for now. We're just doing some navigation. So this is your month view. And in the month view, there's a lot of things that are going on. You have um, a star system that is going to tell you of the green days. These are your important launch days or your milestone activities. They're gonna be categorized from, truthfully, there could be zero because there's really nothing in the day that connects with your astrology. Remember, this Time Blazer calendar is programmed to your astrology chart. So maybe on that particular day, the energetics of the day doesn't match up with you. So we cannot give it even one star, but mostly you're gonna see a minimum of one all the way up to, look at on this day, for this particular person, it's a five star day. Woohoo! wonderful. All right, so these are where you'd say, okay, I really would like to make sure I find something really important to do on this day. So you've got a five-star day, and this is where I would say every single month when you open up your time blazer, and I would say at minimum mid-month, you go ahead and you look at the month as a whole of what are your most, uh, what, what has the most energy that will benefit you. Most stars, most icons, which would be these, I'm going to put them all back now just for, for, and you can, you can, uh, let me take those away again. You can even pre-select. We'll go over these a little bit more, um, another time, and then you can hit selected and then only those will show up. I click two. And so, you know, on this day, on the 30th, wow, we've got, um, two icons there that are quite uh, favorable. So maybe this is a day that this person would want to do something, um, make an announcement um, of some sort. Maybe you've got a website that's coming up. Maybe you've got a program. Maybe you're not quite ready, but let your audience know, let your tribe know what you're up to. That will continue to um, ha have engagement with them. All right, I'm gonna put them all back just for now. So when you're looking at the whole calendar at a month's time, you're going to go, oh, this is a really good day. It really just is stacking up. The 15th is stacking up as well. 24th, stacking up to another good day. So the remainder of this month for this person is going to indicate that she has three days left within the month of I'm going to say classic Monday through Friday days. Yes, there's the 18th that has a good day, um, some good energy as well. But if you are someone who does not work with your tribe or your client base on a Saturday, then maybe that's a day that you successfully enjoy on your own. Okay, so um, this is about the month. And then we talked about yesterday, you just click into any day that you want um, to find out the information. We'll go back to the day view because I'll tell you a little bit about tomorrow in just a moment. So I'm going to go back to the month. Um, and then the other thing that I want to tell you is this. At the bottom of your screen, here are some of the, our, our brand new features. Is this manifest key and an activator key. Now the manifest, the activator key, I'm gonna show you on your astrology chart where these actually show up. So right next to the strategic dates, click the next button, which is called business astrology. Go to the business astrology and go down um, almost to the bottom on the left-hand side and there's a box that's called activators. And here it shows up, mentors, wisdom, attraction, travel, wellness. These are all telling you that these particular animals will show up um, for you to support finding a mentor. Um, you know, there's two always with the mentor. So you either are the mentor or you become the mentee. This will help you. These two animals for you, you have to look at yours. They may be the rat and monkey, but most likely they're two other animals. And then, um, as a matter of fact, just put in the chat what your two animals are that are mentors. Those are the days you want to be looking out for. But you know what? I have made it um, super easy for you. I'll go back to that other screen in just a second. Also, you will find that wisdom will show up. Um, you 
you actually um, have a better chance of doing study, doing research, um, you know, really writing intelligent copy, for example, if you're using your wisdom uh, days, if you will. And then the yeah, attraction, this could be used for a personal um, endeavor like a date night or um, going out with friends, things like that, because you just have this more, you have more charisma. But you can also use it for making and closing sales. This is really good for that because it can help you um, attract more sales. Travel is travel, I think that's pretty self-sufficient. And this is your personal wellness. Now, can you imagine any other system that will tell you when is the best time for you to go to either get a physical, get a massage, go to the chiropractor, the energy is supporting you to get a better wellness treatment so that can be very helpful for you as well all right let me go back to the um the strategic dates so back at the top go to the strategic dates and i'm going to go back to the month and so here these are uh, um below so instead of saying attraction and sales this is on every month view this will then show up as the icons here so this is on the fourth. You can see there was the, um, the attraction and sales and there was also mentor. So you can have more than one icon on, on any particular day. And then on this one, this was a good day um, to travel. And then here again, there's two um, that you can become the mentor to someone else. So that will show up really nicely. And then there's a wellness day here. Now, check this out. It doesn't happen on every month, but this evidently for this person is a horse day. Let's just check and see what it is. Yep, it's a horse day. How do I know that? Because it's the horse month and the entire month is a wellness day, is a wellness month for this particular person. What would be a good idea to do in this month? Focus on your health. Focus on your wellness. Now, it's only going to show up one time a year, and so this is something that I really want you to um, take note of. When these energies show up for you, they are there to benefit. So you have to pay attention a little bit and engage with the Time Blazer to help you along the way. Okay? All right. Um, and then we have also the manifest keys. I'm going to explain that on another day because that one is another explanation as well. I probably should have did that with the activators, but I went ahead of myself. All right. So now the other things that I want to show you in the month view of the navigation is let's look over here at the PDF. For as long as you have your time blazer, you can either open up any month that you have so we can now download these if you would like to print out your calendar. So basically what this is gonna do is we're gonna um, say we're, we want the month of June because you know most of you um, are working along with me right now. So I would print out the month of June or download the month of June. And there's a couple of ways that you can work with this. One, you can print it out, which actually I do. I am more of a tactile person. I really like to do a lot of planning with the Time Blazer. And so as you can see, this is calculating um, the, the uh, month of June for her. And it just looks like my internet's just a little bit slow right now with all of these programs being open. But anyway, we'll wait for that to come. And so the, the value of either printing it out or downloading that PDF is one, if you don't have an internet connection, then you would be able to access this. Number two, if you do print out your calendar, this would be a great tool. And it now has become for me, it has now become my day planner. So it depends on whether you, you know, want to stick with the, you know, the processing um, there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep letting that process and keep talking about some other things because the other thing you can do is you can also print out the year. So I'm just going to go over to this other tab while that's processing and just show you that, you know, you can start looking at uh, the time blazer in a year view. Now, the beauty, the beauty of this is that you can then 
plan out and map out your entire year. Oh my Lord, I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how important that is um, to have your year view. And what I do for all of my launches is this. I print them out and I have uh, typically three goals that I'm always working on in any, at any given time. So, you know, for me, um, let's see if it printed it out. Oh, I don't know. I might have lost it actually when I went over to the, to the, um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll load one up tomorrow so you can see it because it looks like my internet is a little bit slow for that today. Okay, so let's go on to some other um, things that I'd like to tell you about. So we're in the strategic um, dates and, um, Mm -mm. So now I want to go here. All right. So now where I'd like to um, take you is um, I want to I want to show you um, a couple of other tabs that are here as well. So we've got our training video, uh, our training tab, and in the training tab, it's going to tell you how to pronounce your time blazer. For example, it's going to tell you how to download your uh, time blazer into either your iCal or Outlook. Um, iCal is Outlook. It, it would be sort of the same uh, formatting, if you will, or download it to um, Google Calendar. So this is really important if you want to stick to your digital, you know, planning that way. This can help you as well. And then we also have some training videos um, that will get you, you know, get you through, you know. Um, understanding the time blazer a little bit. We have three different um, guidebooks here. One is about, you know, really where the time blazer was derived, why you would really want to use it. And for those who geek out on, I really want to know the theory behind why this is done this way or that, then you go into personalizing your time blazer and then that can tell you things about like harms and clashes and combos and um, you know those kinds of things on how to personalize it and then the glossary of terms are just that it will tell you um, how you get to some of the various different um, terms if you are uncertain about what my keywords that I've created for you here are. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. And then was there anything else that I wanted to, um, yeah. So here is your ICS, your, you know, to either put it into iCal or Google and you can do it by the year, but I would do it month by month. Um, the reason being is, um, I would just do a month or two at a time because you can, you know, we're always making updates and doing improvements on it. So it will just help you to do that, um, to understand that. Now, the thing that I do want you to understand is that the calendar um, is not, um, for example, iCal and Google Calendar. I mean, you can tell right away, it doesn't look anything like a Google Calendar, if you will, especially um, when you get into the day view. It is not going to look like this. Yes, it's going to have the times of the day, but the times of the day, truthfully, are in one hour time slots, not in two hour time slots. So there are some things that they have not adapted yet about the time blazer, but maybe they will soon. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, we talked about yesterday this initiate day. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that um, today. Um, we'll talk about, you know, uh, the 16th in just a moment. The last thing that I do want to tell you about is this search button. This is golden. Um, I almost want to make this a different color because this is my favorite, favorite, favorite feature in the Time Blazer. Well, I don't know. There's so many. <laughs> All right. So five structures. Why would you need to want to know the five structures? The five structures we can um, go into a little bit um, uh, right now. But again, when you go to your business astrology, you look at the five structures. It's right below your natal chart. This is a compilation of all of the five elements 
yin and yang that are in your chart. Now, if you don't know your hour of birth, I have to be quite frank with you, it's gonna give you only 75% of the picture and it's gonna skew the information just a little bit, but it will give you a good idea of what's going on over here. All right, go back to the strategic days. It will always take you to the last screen that you clicked on. So, you know, again, most people like to see their wealth days or power days and things like that. But let's say we are creating something. So we're going to be create we're going to be creating a new program. So we're going to go ahead and um, uh, let's see if we have any more luck with um, pulling up the dates today because um, it is processing and it is pulling um, up this information. So unfortunately for this particular person, we do not have anything within the challenge, but this person thinking ahead can go, oh, on Sunday, the um, 6th of June, 26th of June, I can click directly from the screen into this day. It is a Sunday, but you know what? It would be a good day to create something. So I am going to say for this person between either nine and 11 o'clock or between three and 7 p.m. That's a two, four, six time slot. Could you imagine what you could create in that time slot on a beautiful day for you to um, get something done? So, you know, most entrepreneurs um, will look at the opportunities that are available to them and adjust their charts adjust their schedules to that. I know this one is coming up very soon, but you know what? This is for this person. It may not be for you. That's where you use, you really need to look at, um, look at how, um, yours is over, uh, an, another person. So you may go in and look at another day on that. All right, well, let's go on to, and I'm going to switch this back to all. The reason I'm going to switch it back to all, you'll have to play around with yours, but the more that you select on this, this is why I do one at a time. I want the purest energy. And then, you know, if I have some extra time, I'll add in some other um, attributes that I want. The activators, we talked about those. Those are the ones that um, you would be, you know, looking at with the icons, um, that you, again, the, these were the ones that are in your chart program to you. They're located over here. And then let's go back to, I use this button because if I go back to strategic dates, it'll take me back to the, I think. Oh, well, will it? Yep, it does. So I gotta go back to search. All right, so here are our activators. Let's say we're going to um, do some travel. So let's look at, um, what are our upcoming days and, it, and your time blazer will give you from today's date to the end of your subscription. It will not go back in these searches. Okay, June 21st um, is a great day to travel. Um, in the next person, the next time would be the best is on September the 13th. So if you have um, a last minute travel, <laughs> you know, th there are people who, who do that. Um, definitely, you know, you could do travel on this day. It doesn't necessarily have to be by airplane. It could be train, plane, it could be walking. Um, th but this would be a good um, day for you to do that. Now, your time slot, the best time to fly would be seven to eight because this is what connects with you. But if you do decide to travel on this day, this is one of the words I would take note of, travel block. And it happens between 11 and three o'clock. So this time slot, you could have delays in your travel, you could have disruptions and things like that. So um, even though this icon is here, you know, maybe not, you know, um, spit in the wind. That means, you know, you, that might backfire on you, if you will. Okay, so um, let's use the back arrow to get back to where we want to go. Again, we're going to go to all, and then the values. This is the number one thing that I do. Well, there's two things that I do when I'm looking for a launch. I look for success days. Go to success and hit your search button. Okay, that's processing again. And again, it's, it's um, picking up the 
all of the success days that um, are good for you. And it will be a number of different criteria. There'll be di various different animals and things like that. So on th in this particular case, what I would start doing is I would start looking to see how many stars, how many icons, and what is it that you want to be doing with that day? So, you know, I would definitely be looking at and how far, how far out can you plan? So that's the thing. <sighs> November 1st, look at this day, beautiful. Beautiful, and it's a wellness day, so top of, top of game. This would be, if this person doesn't launch something on November 1st, I'm very sorry for them. They are, they are leaving money on the table. Okay, that's how you would use um, the values. Um, the other ones that I like to use as well is, my favorite is remove days. I love, 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 love remove days. I am a check it off the box um, type of person. And so if I can find remove days, so I keep these um, uh, kind of a tally of when are the best ones for me so that I can put them in. I'm always trying to um, keep things very succinct. And that means I need to get rid of things. I need to archive things. I need to systemize things. So as I'm systemizing, systematizing, I could be digitally scanning them and putting them into digital folders and then, and then um, shredding you know, the, the hard copies or something like that. So that's how you would be using um, remove days. I just threw that in as a little bonus because I just love remove days. Success and remove. <laughs> All right, and then here are our manifest four. I'm gonna talk about these a little bit more extensively um, another day, but for today, we're talking about launches. So let's hit a launch. Let's see when this person has the best opportunity to do a launch. And so this one is a game changer when it comes to helping you select days. It's like having me in your, in your backyard, if you will, right, right there on your computer. So as you can see, these manifests show up in this particular um, area. So there's one on August the 9th, there's another one on the 17th, and then on through, again, we are gonna look for the most icons and the most, um, the most, um, stars and then we're going to be looking for the launch there's also negotiate here this is very good for sales too because you're you're going to be making an offer which is you know negotiating your prices if you will to, to a certain extent um so anyway we love days like this so now what you have to do is go into each and every one of these days i'm going to tell you how to use the manifest another day but for right now i'm just talking about how to find dates um, we're navigating right now all right so what you need to do is start clicking into um, so on this particular day unless you're willing to launch at 5 a.m this may not be the best launch day for you. You could send out an autoresponder on that day, but you know, you're know you not gonna really want to do a launch at seven o'clock that day, despite how good this day is. So there's other ways in which you can use this day. And the best thing that you could do is use the time slots that are um, with the stars on it to send out some correspondence, send out some social media posts, things like that. Okay. All right. Let's go back. And again, you're just going to have to, I just want to go down to that really juicy day. Let's try this one right here. This one is an incredibly beautiful day. All right. Ooh, look at that. Look at that for a launch. All right. Check this out. I'm going to talk about this day because it's just too beautiful. All right. And I'm going to pop it out just so you can see it. This is the full day of what it looks like. We can see that it is a gold mine for this person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and um, let's look at it sort of individually on how I would use this if this was my time blazer. First of all, it's an open day, it's an excellent day. So it's saying already the energy is very good and that's for everyone. It's an excellent open end day for everyone, but how good is it for you will depend on your birth information. All right, four star day, excellent. Anything above three, 
truthfully, even on one day, I will launch if there's a lot of icons and I have a launch uh, in there and some other good um, daily um, stars, I would probably, hourly stars, excuse me, energies, then I would probably launch on a one star day as well. Okay, has all of these beautiful icons. Um, you know, the icons, this is good for starting a new project, marketing, partnerships, signing contracts, negotiations, and marketing. And there's a wellness day there. Beautiful. The manifest, you're going to be doing meditations with this. I'll tell you about that when we talk about the manifest. And then the positive influence. It has green light. Um, means go. We have leadership. You're going to be an authority. Quick action. When you see quick action on a green day, you're going to see this you're gonna see this being um, a different color. I made it teal so it will automatically pop out. Check this out, during the monkey hour, it's also quick action. Oh my gosh, could you imagine racking up the sales during this time if you launch between three and five o'clock? Um, and that means you make your offer during that time. You can take Q&A and all of that during the five to six, but let's close some quick sales for you. And this, by the way, the positive and negative influence are prevailing over the entire day. This particular one, three to five, only that time slot, but it's double double because we've got teal and teal. And it's a three star for this person, marvelous. Okay, it also has revitalized, so that means that you have a little bit more energy. Sun investment means that you're gonna, you're gonna get money off of this, but we do also have these particular energetics below. But on a green day, these, dim out a little bit. They're still there, so it wouldn't be a serious accident, but you might slice your finger a little bit. And, you know, could be a lawsuit, maybe avoid a lawsuit on this day. Uh, potential disaster. There could be, you know, something that could go wrong. You know, you're right in the middle of a live and your computer crashes or right between your, right at your offer and your computer crashes. Not good. So, you know, looking at this day of what can you do to avoid the pitfalls of the day and ramp up the good ones, right? Um, strings attached. Well, you know what? There might be some contingencies on um, what you're offering and somebody might wanna say, well, yes, I'll do that if you give me this as well. So that's totally up to you. Um, or, you know, yes, I'll do this, but you also have to partner with this other person that you don't really wanna partner with, but you know, Again, up to you to make those, um, but you know what? This person on this day has negotiate. Well, let's negotiate those terms. Have it benefit you. Travel block can be anything from traveling, physical travel, but also your message traveling on the internet. So this is where um, your your messaging could get um, messed up because of, because of that. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Where are we at? Um, I think we are at looking at what the day holds for us. Um, let's get back to you just back um, click backwards to get to the um, the date that we're on. So like I said, we talked about yesterday, the initiate day. If you still want to hear about it, it's kind of late in the day for most people. But if you want to hear about initiate, just listen to yesterday's recording. So let's talk about this destruction day. Destruction days truthfully are my least favorite because it destroys things. A remove day, you can remove it, but you can bring it back. But a destruction, it's done. Um, it's like demoing a house, a building. When you knock it down, there is no way, no way you can ever build it back to what it was before. Why? There are so many things that changed from when it was initially built. Even if you use the exact same materials, but if you blow it up or or, or you know bring in the 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 crane that just knocks it down, uh, you know your materials are going to get destroyed. But you know any any uh, any building that is built, materials are going to be different. Um, the energetics of the year is going to be different. The neighboring um, surrounding areas are probably different. All of those affect, so it's never going to be built back the same, is what I'm trying to say. Never the same. You can rebuild, you can reboot, but it will never be like before. We can't go back. We can only go forward. Even 
like replicas and things like that. Yeah, it can be a replica, but it's even when people say exact replica, you, you, you just can't because energy has moved on. But going back to a destruction day, if you are going to use a destruction day and there are positive destruction days throughout the year, please use only a positive destruction because it could come back at you and not in a very um, benevolent way. It could be quite painful. Um, so, but if you are going to use a destruction day, use it for what? To destroy things. If you are going to be doing a demolition, that could be a good day to, could be, but there are some other feng shui um, things that I would be, be concerned about if I was going to be doing any type of dramatic changes to a building. But um, if you are going to use it, use a green day. But you can also use this for legal, um, especially if you want to have the upper hand. Make sure that the day is actually benefiting you, though. Um, number two, you can also use it, um, you know, to literally, you know, like if you're going to be shredding docks and things like that, this would be a good day to do it. You could also use a remove day, but you are literally destroying the docks. So when you put it through a shredder, you know, it, you know, especially with these cross micro shredders anymore, you, you, there's no way you can put that back together. I suppose you could. Um, if you really needed that information, but who really does that, right? Unless you're in a massive lawsuit of some sort, then I can see that happening. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so um, it's a Yang Metal Rat Day. This is actually, um, this is the energetics, if you will, this Yang Metal Rat. That was year 2020. So I don't know if you remember 2020. <laughs> that was the first year of what was um, putting us in the situation, which for some of us has been a benefit because we now can reach a wider audience. So we have that. Um, no stars. Remember, the stars will come over if they are on the, the month itself. And as you can see, um, on the month, there is no stars on this particular uh, icons. Excuse me. There are no icons on the um, that particular um, day, but there are no stars as well and no activator. So it always just goes lower and lower and lower. Now, do you remember when I was talking about Tuesday and Wednesday, um, which is today, if you're listening live, that there was a big spender? This would not be a day that you want to make an offer because you will have disgruntled clients. This is this is not this is where you know you're going to get a lot of refunds, uh, you know, your, the, you know, returns and things like that. So it is not a, a good day. Um, and remember, I also said on a green day, the positive influences rise and the negatives get a little bit diminished. It's the exact opposite on a day like this that is not green. These really take on some force. And so these get diminished just a little bit. So um, with that said, what can you do with a destruction day? So what I would say, one of the best things to do is let's look over here on what times are available. Whoa, between 7 and 11, this is actually uh, counterproductive, strings attached, so not getting much done on that, on that time slot. And then devious intent, this one's even, even nastier because somebody behind the scene has got something that's not so nice. Now, this is for everyone, right? This is the, this is the standard view um, when, it's, when we're talking about the type of day it is, positive and negative influences, and the information in the box. What is unique to you is if there were stars, if there were icons, if there were activators, remember that real juicy day we just talked about that was loaded with wonderful stuff for that person? This one has nothing, but it has one star, one stinking star on uh, between five and seven. So then we have the three to seven o'clock at night. To me, this would be a four hour time slot or at the minimum, you know, two where you could get your most um, beneficial work in for the day. Otherwise, it's going to be riddled with some of this negative um, energy or mixed energy, if you will. So 
what can you get rid of tomorrow? What can, what can you do to lighten the load? You can look digitally, you can um, look physically, you know, what is it on your desk that you wanna clean up once or for all and cross off your list? That's the best thing that you can do. And even for your launch, there are those mundane tasks that, oh my gosh, if I just did this one piece that sometimes takes 20, 30 minutes, get it done and get it off your plate. That's how you can best use um, the Time Blazer for tomorrow being a destruction day. All right, so um, we will be back here on a destruction day um, at the 3.30 time slot. So I definitely um, will see you back then. And uh, so, we are, um, uh, again, we are gonna be looking at um, doing um, the, the launch. So again, why don't you figure out what it is that you'd like to launch over the next couple of weeks and definitely put in the comments the contest rules that we were talking about. I'm just gonna put that URL up one more time. Go to bit.ly forward slash time blazer challenge 2022. We would so, so much appreciate you sharing this with your with your tribe um, as well as we um, are giving this information away for free and we also have a wonderful challenge going on right now and i would appreciate if you'd go over to our new time blazer youtube channel and leave a comment over there as well and we will see you tomorrow so have a very, very amazing rest of your day or evening, morning, wherever you are located in the world. We appreciate you very, very much and we appreciate your following. Take care from now. Take care for now. Take care. Bye.